In this exercise, we'll be determining the equations of parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So for a quick review, parallel lines pictured here are two lines that never intersect. Parallel lines have the same slope, but their vertical intercepts or y-intercepts must be different. Because if they were the same, we'd have the same line twice where the two lines would coincide. Perpendicular lines pictured here intersect each other and form a right angle or form an angle that measures 90 degrees. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of one another. So we have five problems here. Let's take a look at three of the five. We first want to give the equation of the line passing through the point negative eight comma negative 29 that is parallel to y equals three x minus one. And since we're trying to find an equation of a parallel line and the given line is in slope intercept form, notice how the given line has a slope of three and because we're looking for a parallel line, the parallel line will also have a slope of positive three. So the line we're looking for has a slope of three and it also passes through the point negative eight comma negative 29. So now let's find our equation using slope intercept form. Well notice how we know the slope equals three, which means our linear equation must be in the form y equals three x plus b. But because this point is on the line, the ordered pair must satisfy this equation, which means we can substitute negative eight for x, negative 29 for y, which will allow us to find b, the vertical intercept. So performing the substitution, we would have negative 29 equals three times negative eight plus b. And now we can solve for b, so we have negative 29 equals negative 24 plus b. So to solve for b, we'd add 24 to both sides, b equals negative five. Now that we know the vertical intercept, we now know the equation of the parallel line. The equation would be y equals three x minus five. Let's also verify this graphically. The given equation is graphed in red and the equation we found is graphed in blue. Notice how the two lines are parallel. Next we want to give the equation of the line passing through the point eight comma negative two that is perpendicular to y equals four fifths x plus four. Well now we're looking for an equation of a line that's perpendicular to the given line and because the given line has a slope of four fifths, our slope is going to be the negative reciprocal of four-fifths, which is negative five-fourths. So we're looking for the equation of a line that has a slope of negative five-fourths. Notice how to find this negative reciprocal. We flip the fraction over and change the sign. And the line also passes through the point eight comma negative two. So again, using slope intercept form, since we know the slope, we know the equation must be in the form y equals negative five-fourths x plus b. This point is on this line and therefore the ordered pair must satisfy the equation. So now we'll substitute eight for x and negative two for y, which will allow us to find b, the vertical intercept. So we would have negative two equals negative five-fourths times eight, which I'll write as eight over one, since our slope is a fraction, plus b. So we have negative two equals, let's simplify here. There's one four and four and two fours and eight. So we have negative five times two, that's negative 10 plus b. Adding 10 to both sides, we have b equals positive eight. Which means the equation of our perpendicular line passing through the given point would be y equals negative five fourths x plus eight. Let's also check this graphically. The given line is graphed in red. The given point is plotted here in red. And we found the equation to this blue line, which notice is perpendicular to the red line. So this does verify our work is correct. And we have one more problem. We want to give the equation of the line passing through the point three comma negative seven that is parallel to y equals negative three. So here, notice how our equation y equals negative three is going to be a horizontal line and therefore we're looking for the horizontal line that passes through the point three comma negative seven which would be y equals negative seven. And we'll verify this graphically in just a moment. The other approach would be to recognize that y equals negative three is a horizontal line that has a slope of zero and because we're looking for a line that's parallel to this, 
the parallel line would also have a slope of zero. So we're looking for a line that has a slope of zero and passes through the point three comma negative seven. Following the same procedure as before, in slope-intercept form, our equation must be in the form of y equals zero times x plus b. Of course, zero times x is just zero, but we know this point is on our line, and therefore this ordered pair must satisfy our equation. So we could substitute three for x and negative seven for y. If we do this, we would have negative seven equals zero times three plus b. Notice that we have negative seven equals b. So our simplified equation, as we said before, is just y equals, this is zero, b is negative seven, so we have y equals negative seven. Again, it's much faster if we recognize that any horizontal line passing through this point here must be y equals negative seven. Again, let's verify this graphically. The given line is graphed in red. We were looking for the line parallel to the red line passing through this red point where this point has coordinates three, negative seven, and therefore the parallel line here is y equals negative seven as we found. I hope you found this helpful.